You're watching Round Roanoke, your source for what's happening in the Valley. I'm your host, Margaret Hunter Wade. The drop in center here in Roanoke, originally established through a federal grant to serve as an HIV prevention program, has evolved over the years to a venue that offers a safe and confidential location to provide many services for many people. Here to tell us more about the program and an important event they have coming up are Irene Bethel and Melissa May. Thanks to both of you for being here. Thank you. Uh, appreciate yes. it. So, Irene, you work at the Drop In Center with the Council of Community Services. And um, in reading about you all, it's really incredible what you do. So, can you just give us a high level about what you all are as an organization and the services that you do provide? Sure. Um, we provide free, confidential HIV testing and hepatitis C testing. Um, we do some education and counseling and outreach work as well. And we also link clients who are HIV positive into care and also clients who um, are incarcerated, who are newly released, we lease them into care as well. Okay, so you all provide a gamut of services we do, and we very do. important ones. Yes. So um, there's a board, I understand, that works with this HIV stigma reduction campaign community um, advisory board and their professionals that make up this board. What's the significance of it? I know that you all are here to speak on behalf of that. So curious kind of what your role is in the community. Well, um, the Rental HIV Stigma Reduction Campaign Board is devised to break down or decrease the stigma that's affiliated with HIV among community of colors and also not limited to community of colors um, through media and marketing. And our tagline is supporting, educating, and advocating the importance of testing and knowing your status. Right. So get the information. That's right. And then act on yes. it. Yes. So one way that you all are trying to help get the word out about these important services and um, an awareness day coming up in February um, is through this National Black HIV AIDS Awareness Day. Yes. What is that all about specifically? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> well, we're kind of coining it the pre-Valentine's extravaganza, if you will, and you just briefly talked about stigma, and it's kind of like regardless of the context, we know that the causes and consequences of stigma and discrimination are pretty much the same worldwide, you right. know, and for us, we are looking at it as an, a great opportunity to continue in the way that the Drop-In Center has the platform for the support, educate, and advocate by uh, inviting people to come out and empowering those in individuals by, by fostering that awareness uh, through allowing them to, to get tested. Mm -hmm. um, knowing your status is very empowering. Um, um, in addition to that, we're kind of focusing on the wellness side of it. You okay. know, we want to kind of get away from the stigma that is there right. and uh, be able to provide components of wellness. We're talking about the physical, the intellectual, the emotional, the social, the spiritual. And in doing that, we have reached out to vendors okay. um, that will be present, um, Virginia Western Community College, um, Optima Health, just to name a couple. And a lot of the vendors will be able to provide various incentives uh, to those who are present, um, in addition to our confidential testing that will take place during that time, um, ages 16 and up. It's an all-day event, okay. so you know, uh, from 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. that evening, uh, we're inviting individuals to come out and definitely um, take part in the event. It'll be held at 1707 uh, Cove Road, which is the cafe. Cafe okay, is an right. acronym for uh, cultural arts um, for excellence, and uh, we're hoping that you know people come out in round numbers and. Um, the biggest thing too is we want to be able to give back to the community. So we're hoping that individuals that do come um, or individuals even that are watching this segment uh, will definitely make donations. Um, of course, okay. all, all donations are tax deductible mm -hmm. and um, we're looking for things to be able to give back to those individuals that will come to the event. So anything, you know, I don't think anything is too small, Okay. Um, but we're hoping that people dig deep. <laughs> we're Excellent. not necessarily <laughs> thinking small, but we're hoping that individuals do make uh, contributions, anything from gift cards, um, Again, like I said, we're focusing on those components of wellness. Okay. Um, we'll have individuals there that'll be um, providing um, free haircuts, you know, so you so can it's think a about. True yeah, a true right. community event. Yeah, a true community event. We nice. are about out of time, believe it or not, but this is excellent information. But where can they get more information, most importantly? They can um, contact me at the drop in center. Okay. 
356 Campbell Avenue, 982-2437. And also you can look us up on Facebook as well. Excellent. Thank you both for coming in. Thank you so much. We appreciate Thank it. Us. Thank you. You can find out more about the Drop-In Center and other events happening in the Roanoke Valley on the community calendar coming up at the break. I'm Margaret Hunter-Wade, and you're watching Round Roanoke on Cox 9. Thanks for tuning in.